Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to integrate the Semantic Copilot plugin into our bot application. The idea here is, I have already discussed about one of uh, the concepts I used in Microsoft Semantic Kernel. We just passed the city information, so we get the history of the city and weather information we are getting it. The same concept i'm going to implement in bot application also i'm going to use the same sample so we just pass our prompt the in this prompt it's understand to find the city and history information then city information we're going to pass to the external api to get the weather report let's start in visual studio i have created two project one for bot framework application project another one is a class library semantic kernel class library project here I use the same concept, city, JSON, and weather information plugin available. And there is a class called the Semantic Helper. This is the main class. This class is going to communicate to bot application. So the bot application create a class for this object for this class and call this request information function to pass the prompt. Based on the prompt, we get the result. And the main changes here in this code so far, we used the pre-version, Microsoft Semantic Kernel version. Recently, Microsoft has released beta version 1.0.0, beta 1. Now, beta 2 is available. I have updated my Semantic Kernel version beta 2. And the main changes here is the function API name has been changed. We implemented in different way using the pre-version of NuGet package. Now, the beta version. So based on that, I changed the code format. Quickly, I will upload uh, these changes into Microsoft Semantic Kernel sample. But the concept remains same. The first step here, we are reading all the plugin dictionary. SK prompt, is, if it is available, we are just importing. At the moment, we used only one prompt here, the history, SK prompt, this one. And the plugin also we imported here so extract json and weather plugin and a get function assigned to one variable json skill func and the weather func so this information we are passing it and the prompt we previously i think we passed directly to the run async now we have to use the context variable to set the prompt so i set a prompt input the prompt whichever we passed here just assign it and pass to the semantic kernel pipeline once we get the result the result silently has been changed here so each function it has the own results that we'll talk about later uh, uh, what are the changes we have to do that that i will talk in later videos here just understand we get the result in the function result so each function has own results here i'm just checking the function name is history then i just read the city information and history information and related to weather function i'm checking it is weather function I'm getting the weather result. Finally, all the city history weather re result added to the JSON and uh, written the JSON string. That's it. And the main code is here in bot application. This is just normal bot application. It's not handle anything. Here, root dialog. What I did, here I just calling the semantic helper. Make sure you, you have to add the reference. Here I added the reference also, the project reference I added. So the semantic helper for classes, I just create the object and pass the prompt to the API request information. This API returned the JSON and I created the adaptive card. Here you can see the this is a just header weather and the city information. And we, here we are displaying the city information and the weather. In the weather, I just read only the current temperature here finally the history information then i return this adaptive card and create the attachment then finally pass the attachment to the send activity function that's it so let's quickly run this application and uh, see the result application has been started go to the emulator connect to the local bot I send information like let me know 
weather in Chennai. Once I pass this information, here I didn't handle any intent kind of thing. Just directly pass this information to the semantic helper. The semantic kernel helper class, as I mentioned there, first we extract the city and history information and we get the, finally we get the, based on the city, we get the temperature. Here you can see weather and the city information. We passed, let me know weather in Chennai. So the city is Chennai and current temperature is 29 and some info, history of the uh, city, some information added. Thank you all.